Okay, I'm going to change out the chains on my Rokon here. Of course, the first thing you got to do is find the master link, which is right there. I like to spray a little WD on it. Get some of the crud out of there. So I can get in there. Now I'll show you a little trick. This is uh, something that our Dave Filman from Filman Engineering taught us. This is a 1364th drill bit. And this is a piece of new chain. You can't drop that in there. You go back here to the old chain. It's worn out and it slides right through. All the way through. So that tells you this chain is worn out. I gotta get that out of there. This is always a fun job because you got a small hole to work in and nothing wants to cooperate with you. You get your screwdriver in there, spread this. Part. And there she wants to tip back again. And then you push it down. And sometimes it goes easy like that. Once you get it down, you can just take that clip off. And you got this plate on there. Sometimes it pops right off, sometimes it don't. Sometimes you got to persuade it. There you go. Now hopefully right out. There it is. Always have plenty of rags around. This is always a dirty job. Now you got to get the chain off of here. Now these sprockets are sharp as a razor. You don't want to get your fingers in there. Start calling you stubs if you do. Of course, having a piece of plywood on the ground will save you wearing out a $35 pair of jeans. Okay, that's one off. This other one will go come off the same way. I got both chains off. Now before you go and put the new ones back on, got to tighten up these adjusters. Now they've been adjusted out with the old chain. So you got to suck them back in. Now this goes the same way as if you're adjusting the chains and I covered that in the 
different video except in, instead of turning them one way you turn them the other way you want to move this back up you got to do it on both sides this is the old style auto grab where I've got to take these off on the new ones you don't well, I get this one sucked up I gotta move this one in okay I got both the adjusters sucked in of course once you do that the axle is away from the adjusters and you gotta move it back the tire back in now you can sit there and try and push on it or kick on it or you can use a precision instrument and give it a few gentle taps that works okay this here is my new chain also got this from Dave Filman, Filman Engineering a resident saint of all things Rocon aftermarket. You gotta get the length. This is the easiest way. You gotta match up, you know, put the, the old chain next to it and match up every link. Because remember, this thing is stretched out, so you don't want to go on and out there. You can see how much the difference is. I am all the way at the end. And you see, this is about a half inch, half a link longer than a new chain. So there was a lot of slop in that. See how it's progressing up. A little more on inch link until you get up there. Right about there, it starts getting bad all the way up. Then you got to cut this. Make sure everything's even. And then got it up. Okay, when you decide where you're going to cut, get out your crayon and mark the two rivets right there. Mark the length or whatever you want to do. You can use a magic marker on this, but actually everything's greasy. Get this one out of the way. Now, if you ordered the uh, field maintenance kit from Rokon, they sent you this. And this is a chain breaker. It's a simple one. You just put a screwdriver or something in there for a handle. And this clips over the chain. I got it screwed in, so I ain't going to do that. Then you put a wrench on it and turn that. And you can see the little pin in there will come down and punch the rivet out. These are a little awkward to use but they're handy to carry in the tool bag. This is a better one to use. And these things are only about 12 bucks. But You just clip this onto the chain. You see it's got notches in the bottom that fit on the barrel of the chain. It's almost 
self aligning but you got to keep an eye on it and you just tighten down the handle now you don't want to push that rivet all the way through you just want to get it started through the, the plate You can see that's just barely started. So if you try and push them all the way through, you're going to kink something, and it can be a real pain in the butt. This one, go on to the other rivet. That's where you can go through the plate. It just takes a little bit. A little more. Go back to the first one and punch that one through the rest of the way. There's the plate, it's all right off. You can keep that if you want to, but I don't have any storage room, so I'm going to trash it. And if you're lucky, it'll fall right apart. Sometimes you ain't lucky. Somewhere in here. Well, I had a small punch, but it's probably in one of my other boxes. So. don't want to cooperate. Punch this through a little further. Okay, a little tapping and got it off. Get one 
other stuff here together. Remember, don't get the fingers in there. Now, I like to work from the top. Makes things a little easier. Still got my other tool. This is a chain holder. There's another twelve fourteen dollar piece. And another, don't don't get your fingers in there. Just clip this onto the link. I better move that back a little bit. Sitting on the sprocket there makes it hard to reach. Times like this, I wish I was a monkey I could use my feet to hold this stuff. Okay. Put your little chain holder in there. Drop something. Okay, got the pins in there. Put the plate on. Now, this clip, you can see one end is split, and you want the closed end going in the direction of the travel of the chain. So it's going this way, and you want the closed end on that end. Slip that in there. I got the wrong screwdriver. Okay, you get the clip on there, just hopefully just push it in. But sometimes you don't get it to push in, you gotta split it a little bit. There you go. Make sure everything's down there in the keeper slot. Well, 
looking good. Okay, this top chain will go in the same way, hopefully a little easier. You get that. Okay, this one took a little longer to get in than I figured because I didn't have it adjusted back far enough. So you can see how the chain holder made that easier to hold them pieces together. And it goes together the same way. Put the plate on. This one just wants to be difficult. Okay, just took a little wiggling to get that in there. And the same thing, put the chain, the clip on in the direction of travel. In this case, it's going down. Turn that around, I'm not following my own instructions. And once again, I need the monkey. The problem there was, of course, I'm trying to push a loose plate up and it wants to fall down. So I just got my needle nose on it and held it in place. Now the last thing we've got to do, of course, is adjust the chains. off of there. I'll fix that. Anyway, I've already done one on chain adjusting. So you can look that up. When I get through that, I can do the rear end. That's all, basically all there is to put new chains on.